What is up guys? This is the Peekaboo here bringing you another black and white Wi-Fi battle. This one is a standard match against 3 Elite Crisis. His link, his link will be in the description below. Now I felt like using a couple of underused and uh, RU Pokemon and this ended up being a really great match because since he brought a sand team it was more challenging for me and uh, the more challenging the more better. So I hope you guys enjoy. Now I'm going to lead off with the Galate predicting his uh, Tyranitar lead but he ends up leading off with the Latios and that really sucks because he's just going to go for the surf predicting my heatran switch and that's going to be a solid two hit ko and that is not good because heatran's my main counter against his ferrothorn and um, i'm not going to get my stealth racks up so that is always bad and um, if he is a choice spec set i actually surf as the two hit ko against all my pokemon so um here he's gonna uh, i'm gonna bring in my scyther because i am choice scarfed and i know he's gonna switch out so i'm gonna go for the pursuit deal some damage. My main priority was to take down this Latios because it's such a big threat. And um, I had one of two options here. I could have went for the Pursuit or I could have went for the U-Turn. And had I gone for the U-Turn, I would have dealt super effective damage against this Tyranitar and get Switch at Initiative to bring in my Galade without getting hit. But uh, uh, it doesn't really matter that much because I can take a Fire Blast due to my natural spec defense. And I'm going to fire off a close combat and take him out. He ends up staying in because he thought I would overpredict by going for the Ice Punch, predicting his Gliscor switch in. And nope, I saw right through that and I'm just going to straight away take out this Tyranitar. And that is pretty beneficial because uh, he's not going to get his Stealth Rocks. Well, I don't know if he carries Stealth Rocks. Well, anyways, uh, just Tyranitar in general is pretty annoying because it pretty much walls all my special attackers. Here he's going to bring in his Conkledur and he's going to go for the Mach Punch. I didn't know what he wanted to do so I just left my chat out here to die. And um, yeah, I'm going to bring in my Scyther here and I'm going to over predict because I thought he was going to switch out. Knowing that most Conkledurs don't actually carry Stone Edge. But seeing that he went for the Mach Punch again confirms that he's Choice Banded and has the Iron Fist ability. So knowing... That he's locked into that mock punch i can bring in my fortress and i guess start setting up a couple of spikes which really wasn't the greatest play because he does carry that scissor and seeing that he brought it in he's probably a sword stance set so he is going to get a free sword stance up no matter what circumstance as uh, i bring in a raikou and the reason why i brought the raikou here was because if he swords dances a plus two bullet punch won't take me out due to the fact uh due to the fact that I am electric type and I do resist that. So um, he is going to end up going for the uh, bullet punch that does a good amount of damage but uh, doesn't do too much as I go for the vault switch. Um, looking at this, I should have went for the thunderbolt and just should have taken him out straight away but uh, didn't really matter that much because uh, he's only going to get a superpower off my fortress. So he is going to go for the superpower that's not going to deal that much because it's not stab, it's neutral, and he's only a plus two since... And Fortress is just a physical monster and uh, pretty much eats physical hits for breakfast. So uh, his scissor is going to get taken down and that's pretty awesome. Here he's going to bring in his Latios yet again. That's the biggest threat against my team because Surf is a 2 KO against all my Pokemon. So I'm pretty much forced to let my Fortress die at this point. And I'm going to bring in my Scyther and just go for the U-turn. If he switches out, I get switch initiative. And if he stays in, I kill him and he gets switch initiative. But um, that's totally worth it because Latios is threatening and I want him dead as soon as possible. Now I'm going to bring in my Raikou because uh, he does carry that Volt Switch since he is choice specs. So um, if the matchup is unfavorable, I can just switch out but he ends up going into a gliscor and he's going to go for the protect to see what i locked myself into and i locked myself into hidden power ice now i know he's going to switch out because uh he saw that i am locked into hidden power ice so i'm going to go bring in my galade anticipating his uh ferrothorn switch in and that does end up uh i do end up predicting right and he does bring in his ferrothorn here i'm pretty sure i'm going to go for the close combat because um I think he is going to not go into Gliscor to take it since uh, he might be fearing the Ice Punch. So he just ends up going into his Conkledur as Death Fodder and that's pretty awesome because uh, Choice Bandit Conkledur is pretty obnoxious. And uh, yeah, uh, Gallade is probably one of the biggest threats um, against his team because he does have a lot of fighting weaknesses. Plus I have that Ice Punch so Gliscor won't be walling me. And uh, as you can see, 4 times super effective, uh, Life Orb Galade doesn't take out a Gliscor as he just sets up a Swords Dance, which 
now that I think of it, really isn't a great play on the opponent's part. But I know he, he's going to go for the Protect here, because I will die um, next turn due to Sandstorm. So I'm going to save my Gallade, because that's pretty much my only hope of winning, since uh, it's the best thing to take down this Gliscor. As I just bring in Raikou, because I know I can take two Sandstorm damages. And um, here, I'm going to go for the Hidden Power Ice, uh, thinking that he would want to Protect again to scout what I wanted to do. But he makes a really great play and goes into his Ferrothorn, and because I'm blocked into that Hidden Power Ice, it's going to be troublesome because if he sets up any Entered Hazards, I am going to lose. Since uh, Gallade's going to die, Raikou's going to die this turn, and um, Scyther's going to take a lot of damage from Stealth Rock. So uh, since he does get that Stealth Rock up, that is pr pretty much going to guarantee him the win, unless I get like two ridiculous critical hits in a row with Scyther. So I am just going to bring in Scyther and uh, hopefully take him down with a Aerial Ace and pray that he doesn't have any attacking moves. And um, let's see if he does have any attacking moves. Uh, if he does, then I am going to die to it. And yeah, turns out he does carry Gyro Ball. That's going to take me out. And my last is a Gallade. And that's just going to get taken down by Entry Hazard. So that is the game. Hope you guys enjoyed this match. If you guys enjoyed the match, please help support me by uh, pressing that thumbs up. And if you want more content, feel free to subscribe to my channel. So this is the Pikuwu. Thank you for watching my battle and peace out, guys.